Thing. So we are all shaped by people who have an impact on our lives. And yeah. if we are lucky, there are those who stick by you and guide you along the way. Angels, absolute yeah. angels. This week we are recognizing some of the amazing mentors in our lives. And Sandra is here to tell us about her. It's such a personal story. I love it. It is. Thank you. Good morning. You know, much of my life I was a competitive swimmer. And throughout my childhood, I would spend up to five hours a day in the pool at swim practice. And while I was lucky, enough to have some amazing coaches there was one in particular who I will always be grateful for you look the same with the mustache hair. and everything yeah, I know but the <laughs> hair is wider can you still give a tough set I still can <laughs> 200 breast a 100 back Coach Steve Kalin. Thumb to thigh, long pools. He was my swim coach back at Van Nuys High School. And for four pivotal years, he taught me more than what I could have learned in the classroom. I love the smell of chlorine. I, I couldn't leave it for a long time, and I did it for 30 years, coaching high school, various club groups. After all these years, here we are at a pool, just like old times. My home away from home. I made you varsity because you were a great butterfly or an I am. That's what you were for four years. We won four championships in a row in conference. You were an integral part of that. I remember you being captain for, I think, two years. Looking back, it was Coach Kalen who helped me grow as a team leader to work hard, not just for my own sake, but to get the entire team motivated to be their best. Go! You were extremely easy. And you had your moods. Everybody has her mood. What was my mood? What, did I talk back? Well, <laughs> no, 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 not at all. You were disappointed sometimes, and you wanted to strive to be in that upper echelon. Together, a small and mighty team, we managed to win the conference title year after year. You were a hard worker. Unfortunately, I do remember your senior year. You were involved in an auto accident. You were one of the favorites to win the butterfly as well as the uh, I am. We tried darn hard to do it. You just couldn't get it for city, and we had to withdraw you from city finals because of that. Being a senior in high school, I worked so hard all those yeah. years. That was not just a race to me. It felt like everything. It felt like the world ending. Looking back on it, how supportive you were and how much that meant to me as a mentor, as a role model that you are, and how you dealt with that, how you lifted me up, how you were there for my family, how you had my back. So many kids, I think, need someone that'll have their back. Keep your head down, look at the water. And not just their parents, right? Not just their family members, but to have someone else. This is high school graduation. He stood up for me, supported me when I felt everything I worked for vanished in plain sight. But Coach Kalen saw the bigger picture in life. I remember your biggest decisions, whether to go to NYU or Northwestern. No, I'm not surprised about you because I knew you'd be a success. I just want to say thank you for everything you've done for me. You probably didn't know what an impact you made, but you're such a great role model. Old Van Nuys swim cap. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Van Nuys wolves. You know what? And we're always going to be a wolf pack, you and me. That's right. That's so, awesome. Yeah, it can just take that one person, that one person in your life to change your trajectory, to really shape your outlook on life, and it shows how impactful that one person can be. And the funny thing is, Coach Kaylin and I hadn't seen each other since my high school graduation, wow. really? which was years and years ago. Wow. We follow each other on social media. <gasps> But the wow. fact that I was able to thank him and tell him how much he meant to me meant a lot. Yeah. Wow. It yeah. just really, uh, it really touched me, that story, because teachers are so important and coaches are so important, mm -hmm. and I just don't think they ever get enough credit. And just mm -hmm. hearing you talk to him, the things that you said and how you got into that accident, mm -hmm. and he stood by you and your family, and just what 
what educators represent for people and the impact that they can have. Such and a beautiful story. You've been an educator. You have touched so many lives and yeah. probably not even have known it because mm. yeah. they, a lot of times, kids don't get a chance to say thank you, yeah. right, and to come back. So I'm so appreciative I was able to say thank you to him. But you have touched so many lives, Melvin, oh, by so being sweet. an educator. But it just shows how important, yeah. you know, one person I mean, I don't want to make it about me. It's about, like, it's like your story. And it was just so beautiful, like, just to see you have that moment <laughs> with him. And so, yeah. how long has he been teaching there? So coaching. he's retired now. Oh. He was, yeah, coaching for over 30 years. He's dabbling on the side, of course, because swimming never leaves you. <laughs> <laughs> that is for sure. Yeah. And we're drawn to the smell of chlorine. But, um, yeah, and I went on to swim in college, and I realized, you know, as a senior in high school, that wasn't going to meet my last race. But at the time, being in the accident and having to pull out of the competition, mm. I did feel like everything was oh, ending, right? Oh, yeah. In high school. But it gave me a lot of perspective. Did he say anything to you that that carried you through? It wasn't just one motto or mantra. It was just the act and being present in my life and mm. being able to help me pick up the pieces. Mm. And yeah, showing me that there's much more to live for. You know, you're going to go to college. You're you know, you have yeah. so much more than this one race. So Our little really finding Dory. Right here, just <laughs> keep swimming. There's so many life lessons mm -hmm. in swimming, too. Keep your head down. If there's focus, just keep on swimming and life. Yep, it's a beautiful yep. story. Thank you for your swimming, vulnerability yeah. too, Sandra. It's beautiful. Oh, Thank Sandra, you. I love yeah. these mentor pieces. <laughs>